Blog Talk Radio. Beautiful, 
eternal life. He's our only hope and light, y'all, for this lost, dark, and dying world that we are living in. Blessings again to each and every one of you beautiful souls. I'm your purpose and power-driven host, Ron E. Jefferson. And I'm here to bring you the most uplifting, spiritual, soul inspiration humanly possible, as well as some of the most anointing gospel music that has ever been made and ever been played. Fire, 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 the gospel experience. We'll light, ignite, and fan those flames that's in your spirit, man, woman, boy, or girl, because God wants each and every one of you to be a victorious believer in Jesus Christ. Because God's not a respected person, y'all. He just looks for a humble heart to worship and fellowship with him in spirit and in truth. We will be embracing for your spiritual consideration and your sanctified nutrition from the book of John, the gospel of John, chapter 4, verse 48, where our Lord Jesus is in the city of Galilee, and he's approached by a certain nobleman with a son that is deathly ill. This father has come all the way from Capernaum to seek our Lord Jesus. But our Lord Jesus seems a bit bothered that everywhere he goes, everyone wants a miracle, favor, or blessing. Not realizing that he, Jesus, our Lord, is the greatest gift that anyone could ever receive. This also seems to be very true today, how that so many people want the gifts from God but not the gift giver of God, who is Jesus the Christ. We're going to be talking about signs and wonders. So get your Bible, John 4 and verse 44, because I'm not here to get my opinion. I'm here to express how God has blessed me to understand accurately his word, but I'm here to verify what holy God has given for us in this holy Bible. That's my whole soul resource right there, right there. And then guess what? I'm blessed to have Holy Spirit God to lead and guide me. As he moves in my spirit. My special gift is here. He's a return special guest. And when I say special, put caps on that. I'm talking about a man of God, gospel artist, preacher, teacher, pastor, man of God, Pastor Tyrone Jefferson is here. Now, I like that last name. We may be related in namesake somewhere down the line. I don't know. But we are certainly related to the precious blood of the Lamb, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen goes right there. We're going to hear his testimony, his words of wisdom. We got his music, y'all. y'all know he wrote some classic and sang some classic music that we are blessed to have this man of God back here with us on fire, 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 the gospel experience. And then later on in the broadcast, I'm going to shine my honest spotlight on gospel artists, woman of God, Alicia Janine. She's going to come right behind Pastor Tyrone. Jefferson and put the spiritual icing on the cake with her new music, with her testimony, and we're just going to have some flat out church up in here, up in here. So why don't you go ahead and call your family members, your friends, call a co-worker, call somebody that's in your spirit right now that you know could use some good gospel inspiration on this fire gospel experience. We've already had prayer. Thank you, Holy Spirit God, for doing what only you can do. We adore you. We open our hearts, our minds, and our eyes wide open so that you can bless us as you see fit. Thank you most of all, Holy Spirit God, for lighting the fuse that's about to turn the internet as well as the radio airwaves on Holy Ghost Sanctified Fire, Fire, Fire.
of my special guest talking about gospel artist, preacher, teacher, pastor, man of God is returning back to this fire gospel experience platform. It's been a long time, Pastor. We had to have you come back to hear your voice, hear your testimony, and hear your classic music on this fire gospel experience. None other than Pastor Tyrone Jefferson. Here. Jesus. Welcome back, Pastor Tyrone Jefferson. How you doing, man of God? I am doing wonderful. How are you doing? The one and only Dr. Ron Jefferson. <laughs> Jefferson, a great name you got there. You better. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You better cut it out, uh, doctor. They're going to think that we're trying to uh, have something personal going on because we are just loved by God and ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with lifting up another brother. Well, you know, the Bible says try the spirit and see if it's God. God. I am so honored to be on with you. Yeah, you know, the word yeah. says try the spirit. And see if it's of God. So we Amen. know that, hey, Dr. Jefferson is of God. So that's why our spirits are so Amen. much alike. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for correctly uh, proclaiming that word. Because I can recall when I first got into the church, I would hear people saying, try the spirit by the spirit. And I was looking mm-hmm. that up and looking that up. And I'm like, wait a minute. That's one of them verses uh, that ain't even in there. We just be taking scriptures and trying to rewrite so it. So many. thank you, man of God. For oh, God. Touch. Yes, yeah, try the spirit and secrets of God. That's it. That's it. I just appreciate you being such an articulate disciple of the word of God. Yes, you're a bishop. Yes, you're a pastor. But I understand, too, sir, that you are a lifetime student of the word of God. And that right there is a lesson for all of us to heed. So welcome back, man of God. Tell us about yourself. Thank you. As, as we are just ex- excited to have you back. Come on. Thank you so much. Well, of course, I praise God for you and for what you're doing. You're blessing the world, and it's evident that you are anointed, Dr. Jefferson, to do what you do. But, hey, Bishop (laughs) Tyrone Jefferson, I just was consecrated in uh, July of last year. I'm one of the bishops, a fellowship assistant for the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship International, uh, presiding Bishop Joseph Walker, and, of course, our founder, Bishop Paul S. Martin, my spiritual father and mentor. Uh, But I believe I pastor one of the most exciting churches in New Orleans, the Abundant Mm -hmm. Life Tabernacle, Mm -hmm. Full Gospel Baptist Church in the city of New Orleans. I'm one of the spiritual advisors to the mayor. I sit on boards here in the city of New Orleans. I'm the vice chair for the ethics board, seminarian, school of ministry. So much. I can go on and on and on as it relates to what I'm doing and what what God has called me to do. Amen. Amen. Well, listen, man of God, uh, we're just going to take our time, uh, Bishop Jefferson. And um, if there happens to be some overflow that burns in your spirit as well as mine, I'm going to call you right back. I'm going to say, Bishop, I need you to come right back and pick up where we left right. off. How about that? So take your That's time, Bishop. Great. I want you to. I want you. I want you to deliberate just like if you was at your home church. How about that? <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Amen. So, listeners, before we get more into this awesome man of God, I just want you all to know something personally from me in regards to this young man. I do not solicit contributions. I am actually celebrating, as I know you are celebrating, your 28th anniversary at your home church right there in. Uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. I know that you are celebrating, Bishop. I do my homework, and guess what? I'm celebrating too. Thank you. Thank you so I much. I am blessed to be celebrating my fifth year anniversary on this Fire Whoa. Gospel Experience platform. I've been blessed oh, to do this wow. for nine years. But God congratulations and happy anniversary. Thank you, sir. I, I receive it, and I'm going to make sure I give you full. Uh, platitudes for your upcoming anniversary. But what I want my listeners to know, man of God, is that although I may mention um, gifts and donations if they so choose, it's not because I'm lacking. It's not because this is what I'm here for. The reason I may ask for contributions is because I know that there are people of God out there that are looking for ways to be a blessing. Those are the people that I'm trying to reach. Not because I'm in need. It's because when we understand how the body of Christ works together, we will be more functional, we will be more impactful. And people that may not have yet found their calling in the body of Christ, they may have a desire Mm -hmm. to give. They may be givers and not even know it. So this this young man, Bishop Tyrone Jefferson, 
he sent me a donation with three figures on it. I'm not going to mention the amount because I'm just bragging <laughs> by the fact that for a first-time giver, he donated, I mean, specifically from a heart of generosity. So, man of God, let me just say this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, because I'm telling you, we already Bless know you. where a person puts his attention, he puts his love as well. So I know that you are a sincere man of God and a giver of God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Man of God, I just want to ask you one question. Can we just get this started? Can we just talk yes. about that first song, that classic song that I just got through playing, Whose Report? Can you break Whoa. that down for us? Because sometimes we will be in a dilemma about which road to take. And I believe you have biblical insight with that song to share with us. How can the people of God discern which and whose report do we need to believe, especially in a time of tension, in a time of uh, trauma, if you will? Yeah, well, as believers of God, you know, we got to continue to hold on to our faith no matter what we see, no matter what we're going through. Of course, Jesus says in his word, without faith, it is impossible to please him. So, therefore, if you want God to move on your behalf, if you want God to turn things around, you got to have that God kind of faith. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. But not only that, Dr. Jefferson, it is important that all of us know and understand God allows different things to happen to us for a season. And when the time is over, hey, it is mm. over. So no matter what we're going through, no matter what we are facing, we've got to remind ourselves of the Word of God as it relates to when the child of God goes through. And we know all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and to them that are called according to his purpose. Amen. No weapon that's formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that rises up against me in judgment shall be condemned. No matter what we see, no matter what we are experiencing, we have to believe and receive the report of the Lord as yeah. it relates to his word. Mm. Amen. That is so true. The thing that I like about you, man of God, is how you have allowed Holy Spirit God to evolve you into your own personal persona. And what I mean by that is you carry an old school knowledge of the Word of God, like one of the elders from way back in the day. But you allow oh, the freedom to express yourself in a millennial fashion. Well, you don't mind dressing down, so to speak. You don't mind wearing your hat backwards. You don't mind wearing cool sunglasses because I do that too, and I'm in my sixth generation. I'm in my sixth decade of living, and I still have not forget the times of my youth. I still have not forgotten what it's like to be in every one of those generations. Can you share with us the importance of Oh, let me just share this with you. Ritual. Let me Come just on, share this with you because, of course, you know, I was raised by my grandmothers as well as my mom because we all kind of stayed like one, two, three houses uh, apart from each other. Yes, and, sir. of course, I was raised in that traditional house where it was very much rules and rituals, and not only in the house but in the church as well. Uh, and I thank God for deliverance. I thank God for deliverance because the Bible says, <laughs> "He who wins souls are wise." Sometimes you gotta allow yeah. uh, allow the Lord to speak to you and give you fresh fire, give you fresh insight. And hey, that's what Amen. you follow, even Amen. if it goes against mm -hmm. your rituals or your traditions. You have to always follow the voice mm -hmm. of God. And I'm here to tell you that's why I believe we're so successful in this season, as it relates to church growth as it relates to the church just growing because hey i'm very sensitive mm. to the voice of god and i listen to the voice of god even if it goes against my rituals my beliefs and my traditions amen amen i believe that is so true preacher because you know we have a millennial generation i believe they call it generation x and generation z right now and right. they are not necessarily so moved by the old traditional church So we have to be able to Not transform the church But make sure that the church doors Stay open And we don't want to close church doors In our mind Being judgmental Thinking because they don't walk like us Talk like us Dress like us That they are not yeah. of us Can you speak to the people of God About 
allowing the next generation to be saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, just like we were oh, when we were their age? Certainly, certainly. In short, you have to meet people where they are. They may not always be on your Come level. On. They may not always sound like you sound. They may not always articulate how yeah. you articulate. But you got to meet people yeah. where they are, where they are. Catch the fish first, mm-hmm. then clean it. Then clean it. We've got to rebuke that <laughs> judgmental spirit and learn how to catch the fish again Amen. first, then clean it. That's so important. That's so vital. Especially if you want to win yes, this is. generation because the old generation, they're dying out. And we need somebody to carry the church on. Amen. 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 And I'm going to say this too, uh, Bishop Jefferson, that it is primarily so for us men. And I'm going to quantify race, although I know that it's the different rainbows that make the uh, different colors, rather, that make the rainbow so beautiful. And when I'm talking about colors, I'm speaking about the different ethnicities that God has created, the different colors of the rainbow. It's the different colors that make the rainbow so beautiful. But let me specify one particular color around the African-American population. I'm talking about us black men. We have to continue to believe and reach out to our men of the importance of being saved. Because a lot of people are being deceived, Pastor Jefferson, saying that Christianity is the white man's religion. What do you Lord say Jesus. in your spirit when you talk to someone? Well, here's the thing. you you, you got to be, I guess, persuaded by your faith. you got to be persuaded by your faith as it relates to what God is saying to you, what God is speaking to your heart. Uh, of course, even as it relates to Christianity, it's a faith walk. You know, we haven't seen God, but we yes, know sir. he's there. We can feel him. We can't touch him, but Thank we can you. feel him. Mm. We can feel his presence. We can feel his anointing. So as it relates to this Christian walk, um, it's, it's it's a faith walk. It's a faith walk. It is. It is. People want to believe to see, but God is saying uh, to see to believe, rather. But God is saying, no, I don't want you to see to believe. I want you to believe to see. Because later on in the broadcast, I know you'll be on your way doing God's business, man of God. But we're going to be talking about signs and wonders from John 4 and 4 and 8. Because so many people are looking for entertainment. They're looking for something to bedazzle their mind and give them that wow moment, that rush of adrenaline. But we all know that adrenaline don't last. So we have to have something more substantial than just something uh, physiological or something emotional to carry us through life because life is going to outlast any adrenaline rush that we have, man of God. And I know that your next song that we're about to play is called Higher. How do we go higher when we see trouble all around us, man of God? Can you help us understand that part? Oh, stay faithful in the midst of it all. you got to learn to stay faithful as it relates to your assignment, as it relates to what God has called you to do. And if you continue to lift him, he'll lift you. Mm. Amen. And I'm old school preaching because they told me a long time ago, this is not a sprint. It's a marathon. And the true test of our faith is perseverance. The true test of our faith is perseverance. Keep on keeping on regardless of the situation around us. And listen to this part, Pastor. The situations that go on inside of us. Those things that no one right. knows nothing about. Just us and God. We got to go higher.
to fire the gospel explosion where the praises are going up and the worries are going away playing for you the best and the newest gospel music on the planet and the most inspiring encouragement under god's heaven keep tuning in and bless your family your friends and your co-workers by telling them about fire Yes, indeed. All praises go to our God. Fire, fire, fire. The gospel experience that is your evangelistic outreach ministry. We're not just here to just talk about God. We're here to let our listeners feel the love of God, the vibration of Holy Spirit God that lives within us, even through these Internet radio airwaves. And we are going higher, higher, higher with my special guest, gospel artist, preacher, teacher, pastor, man of God, Tyrone Jefferson, as he goes higher in the celebration of his 28th church and a pastoral, 28th pastoral anniversary committed to the call. That is going to be going on right there at Abundant Life Tabernacle, and I'm just excited to celebrate with you, Pastor, but I just want to know something. You must have stopped pastoring about 18 years old or something. Is that what it was? <laughs> you're close. You're close. You're close. <laughs> I started pastoring at 21. 21 years old. Okay. Amen. 28 yeah. years, Pastor. Tell us about the longevity, the consistency oh, that Lord. it takes the to road, be able to the hold been the rough position and the going's been tough. for all those years. <laughs> God is a keeper, of course. You know, I come from a Christian home raised by um, my missionary grandmother, Mildred Jefferson, and my grandfather was a preacher, and my uncle was a pastor, so it's in my blood. It's in my blood. But, you know, they talk mm. about me success. 
talking about to be focused, should I say. Uh, of course, they believe in education. I yes, got sir. myself educated as it relates to the seminary, the Word of God, studying the Word of God. And, you know, at the seminary, I told my uncle I was called to um, start a church, and he supported me, and the rest Amen. is history. It's 28 years. I remember when he Amen. said he's too young. He won't last six months, but, again, <laughs> it's been 28 years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can't you, can't you hear those negative voices uh, still sometimes ringing in your head, talking about, oh, he ain't going to be able to make it? And what say ye now? What does the Listen. man of God say now to all those naysayers? Listen, whose report will you believe? What the word of the Lord says. I can do all things through Christ, which Amen. strengthens me. You got to remind yourself of the word. You got to study the word so you can know the word. Uh, so when the enemy comes messing Good. with your mind or even negative people, you can speak that word back. Mm. Mm. Yes, absolutely. Now, listen, man of God, we're not going to hold you too long because I, I want you to feel comfortable coming back to this fire gospel experience. And I know I'm sure your weekends are just as crowded, more so than most people. Yes, but what indeed. I would like I know to that's do right. is to maybe just. You already know I know. So what I would like for you to do, man of God, if you'd be so kind, if you would just reference what I will be summarizing at the end of the broadcast from John 4 and 48, talking about signs and wonders. And the word of God says, then Jesus said to him, unless you people see signs and wonders, you will by no means believe. Now, we know that signs and wonders followed our Lord Jesus as evidence that he was the chosen one, the Messiah of God, the anointed one, the Christ. Um, but we seem to have gotten carried away in the church and out of the church with signs and wonders. Is there any thoughts that you would like to share with us so that we can have proper discernment and not get so carried away with the miraculous that we forget and leave out the miracle maker, getting so caught up on the miracle. Yeah, certainly. I believe signs and wonders will happen again as it relates to our local assemblies if we put prayer and consecration back in the church. And I'm talking about prayer like we used to pray. You know, back in the days we had a prayer meeting meeting for hours, not just popcorn prayers or these fast prayers, but when we, you know, when we when we buckle down and when we just spend more time with the Lord as it relates to prayer, as it relates to consecration, I believe that we'll see signs and wonders again. I thank God for our church because we see signs and wonders here at the Tabernacle, and it's because I'm a man of prayer. I mm. spend hours in prayer, mm -hmm. and it's important for us to know that men mm -hmm. ought to always pray and not faint, like the Lord says yes. in his word. So I think prayer and consecration is a vital part. It's a major part of it is if you want to see signs and wonders and the miraculous happening. Amen, amen. Because we are certainly not discounting signs and wonders because we know that the scripture has already declared that there will be certain signs and wonders that follow believers of Christ. And right. not to just get so caught up in the miraculous is the concern that we have because people can't be carried away with vain imagination. They'll be chasing signs and wonders and then leaving Jesus somewhere on the sideline. Like, okay, yeah, yeah, Jesus, you, you we'll gotta come understand. back and get you after a while. And let me share this with you. you got to understand who the blesser is. You know, sometimes we get so caught up in the blessing until we forget the blesser. Mm. So, you know, it's important that we understand Jesus. who the blesser is. In him we live, we Amen. move, and have our being. Come on. Amen. Come on. <laughs> Wasn't that the issue? Wasn't that the issue yeah. with the oh, children certainly. of Israel? God will pour certainly. out pre tremendous blessings and prosperity and then get lifted up because of the blessings and the prosperity and then leave the blesser out. Going through the That's religious right. Turn it back. tradition and, and ceremony. But God said, away with your ceremonies because... Your mouth speaks words, but your heart is far from me. Pastor, right. please, please help us. Help us clarify what a, a heart for God really means, and not just so much religious ritual. Um, a yearning, a, a yearning for God, a yearning for God as well. And we have to understand it's about him getting the glory, the honor, and praise. And whatever he needs to do, uh, he will do to make sure he gets the glory, the honor, and the praise. That he so rightfully deserves. Yeah. You know, so many times we think Amen. that we're supposed to get the glory. But hey, God will move you out the way. Won't he do it? Mm. 
He don't even need us. He's just giving us the privilege to be a part of his kingdom building. <laughs> Amen. Pastor Justin, finally, sir, this last new project that you have, Trouble in My Way, it is refreshing and very encouraging because my life scripture verse is Romans 8, 28, and we know all things work together for the good to them that are the call, to them that are called uh, to love God, that are the call according to his purposes, my life scripture verse. I have lived that verse. I have had to pull that verse out of the Bible and place it in my spirit so that I can look back on times past and not be filled with regret, understanding that what God allowed me to go through, and I did say go through, was for my good because it helped mature me and lead and guide me in a way that God intended for me to go. Sometimes, though, we can get too caught up in focusing on our troubles and not realizing that actually God is around the trouble and there's some good in it. There's some wisdom in it. Share with us the beauty of being in trouble, having God on our side. Yeah, it's important, again, that we understand our assignment, what God has called us to do. And, you know, sometimes the devil will come to make us lose focus on what our assignments are. You know, it's important that you stay focused, stay prayed up so that you can continue the journey, no matter what comes against you, no matter what attacks, uh, what disappointments, what circumstances may come your way. Hey, when you understand your assignment and what God has called you to do, you don't allow the enemy to come in and try to... You know, get you out of focus, if you will, or get you out of focus. Hey, amen, amen. Well, certainly, Pastor, listen, we are looking forward to celebrating with you spiritually. If I'm not in the New Orleans, Louisiana area, while you are celebrating your 28th pastoral anniversary committee call, I like that word right there, Titus 1 and 5. Yeah, go ahead. Call. go ahead. I just want you to, yes. I just want, I just want you to know, Pastor, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you spiritually. Thank you so I much promise you for all your support. Through when I pass, when I pass through New Orleans, I wouldn't dare try not to uh, treat you to lunch and let you uh, sit down with me oh, and no. break if bread. Oh no! If you pass through New Orleans, I have to treat you to lunch in my city. <laughs> hey man, that's all right. When is the celebration uh, going to begin? And uh, give us information. We already know that you're at 1701 Franklin Avenue in New Orleans, Louisiana. When does this pastoral celebration begin? Yeah, it starts with my spiritual father and mentor, uh, Bishop Paulus Morton, March 29th, 7 p.m. at the Tabernacle, 1701 Franklin Avenue, New Orleans, Louisiana. And then, of course, on that Sunday, 8.30 a.m., uh, we thank God for Dr. Janice Gray, who will be ministering to us. And at 10.30 a.m., Pastor Merlin Flores will be uh, ministering to us the first Sunday in April. It's going to be exciting. Oh my God, my God! Is it going to be televised on any of these platforms for those? Stream, that are yes, not it, it'll be region? streamed. Yeah, yeah, we'll be streaming on, of course, uh, Facebook Live, Facebook Live at Abundant Life Tabernacle, okay. and YouTube Live at Da D A Tabernacle Experience. Da D A Tabernacle Experience. Amen. Is there a telephone number, website, or anything? If any of my listeners, and yes, I, I want, yes, yes you know, indeed. To make it simple, oh. mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. To make it simple, just put in Pastor Tyrone Jefferson, and everything else, everything will pop up that's associated with me. Amen, amen. Because they're going to want to be part of your uh, viewership when you're streaming live from uh, Abundant Life, and then they're going to want to download your music, and they are just going to want to support you. And I'm just happy to give them this connection because you have been so generous and gracious for me, supporting me in this fire gospel experience, man of God. I just want you to know if there's anything that I can do in any way, I want you to get in touch with me and let me share some gracious gratitude back with you and your ministry and your church family. If you, if you do that, Thank you I'll so be much. blessed and I appreciate it, sir. Thank you so much. And again, you are always a blessing to me. So supportive. Appreciate God for you so very, very much. Keep on doing what you're doing, and we got you covered. We support you too. Amen. I receive that in Jesus. Gospel artist, preacher, teacher, pastor, man of God, Tyrone Jefferson. You all get in touch with that man of God. He's on Facebook, and I'm sure that he would love for you to stay kingdom connected with him. Bless you, man of God. Looking forward to you. Bless you. Coming back whenever your schedule allows. Man of God. Amen, amen. I'm talking about power, packed 
people of God on this fire gospel experience. Don't you know this is what this fire gospel experience is really, really all about, giving God his just due praise as we lift up his holy name and then connecting with the people of God such as yourself to come on this fire gospel experience. And we together will celebrate on these Internet radio airways the goodness of our God. If you got a word, if you're a preacher, teacher, minister, if you're a gospel artist, I want to share this platform with you so that we can be about the business of saving souls as we honor God. We are reaching out to the lost. We are living in times right now if people cannot understand all of the prophetic occurrences that are happening now in our present day time where our Lord Jesus prophesied these events over 2,000 years ago, I'm trying to tell y'all, I don't know what else it's going to take. We are living in times that our Lord Jesus said in the beginning of end time before he comes back for his church there will be wars rumors of wars there will be natural devastation the hearts of men will wax colder and colder all you have to do is look at the news broadcast and see that everything that our messiah prophesied would happen is happening now so it's clarity you would think he just said it on a, a recent phone call but i'm here to tell you god is real and then, like my special guest, man of God, Pastor Tyrone Jefferson, has already made it plain and understand that trouble in my way ain't nothing before another opportunity for me to magnify my God. <laughs> He will, he will, he will, he will, he will, he will. 
Sean Bledsoe, CEO of Bledsoe Records, speaker and promoter. And you are listening to Fire, the gospel experience where the fire is a moving, uplifting, an unrestrained experience of biblical inspiration and gospel music. I am inviting all up-and-coming artists to contact me to take your gift, talent, and ministry to another level. You can contact me by phone at 870-318-6409 or email me at blessedso.promo at gmail.com. God wants you to do all that you can to bring him glory, and I want that for you as well. Until then, keep it tuned in and to fire the gospel experience, which will uplift your spirit and give you new strength. Be a blessing to your family, friends, and coworkers by telling them all about fire on this station. It's all about kingdom building. includes everybody, every people, every nation will come to know him. Sounds of woman of God, Sinead, L. Young, nations will testify. And I want to know 
Are you going to be a part of that number that's going to raise your hand, lift your voice, and give God all of his just be praised because he is worthy to be praised. My every living creature, let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord. This is the hour and time and segment of Fire the Gospel Experience for my shine out of spotlight. I'm just so excited and happy to bring to this platform, this God-given, God-breathed on God-anointed platform. Fire, fire, fire. The gospel experience. All of you talented, anointed, and gifted people. That's like, uh, 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 one, two, three. Mind, body, and soul. People of God that are blessed to be lights in the dark and dismal, spiritual deficient world. That's where you and I come in. We're not secret agents. No, we are proud members of the body of Christ, representing our Lord Jesus vocally, verbally, and for real. That means even if ain't nobody watching us, we know Holy Spirit God is right there watching over us, watching us. We are surrounded by his heavenly angels to keep and protect us. And even if there comes a point of pain, suffering, and even martyrdom, God will prepare each and every one of us to be able to complete and succeed in that high task and assignment of sacrifice. That means I'm willing to give my life for my Lord Jesus for the faith that I believe because I understand the Bible declares that be not afraid of him who is able to end the body's existence because they cannot touch the soul existence. We're just passing through. This representative earthly domain that we live in is just a place that God has positioned us strategically place, time, and wherever we may be in our family structure, location so that we might be a witness in this particular location at this point in time in your life, so hold on to your faith amen, amen, and we will testify to the nation so that the nation will testify that God is who God claims to be. You gifted people of God, you come on onto this fire gospel experience just like my special guest. Happy to have this woman of God, this young, I say young, young gospel artist, this woman of God that's going to come and share her testimony and let us know through her new project song about giving God all of his just due praise, all of his just due glory. This woman of God is going to bless each and every one of you. She is coming alive from the ATL, Atlanta, Georgia, originally from Seattle, Washington. This woman of God is a musician as well as gospel anointed vocalist. And I'm excited and happy to have for this shine on the spotlight, woman of God, Alicia Janine is here, and I believe she's got a message for us. I know she's got some music for us that's going to bless us inside, out, upside down, and possibly even spiritually round and round. Without any further ado, come on into this shine on the spotlight and shine, woman of God, Alicia Janine, on this fire gospel experience. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Oh, I welcome, love welcome, this. welcome, woman of God. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome I love it. I love it. I love the theme of fire. Well, I'll tell you more about it. <laughs> amen, amen. Tell us, tell us, tell us. We appreciate you being here with us on this fire gospel experience. So that we want you to shine, <laughs> woman of God, in this spotlight that God has given me to provide for you. Tell us a little bit about yourself, and then we're going to play your new music, and then we're going to come back, and I want you to share the best testimony that God gave you to share today. <laughs> okay. My name is Alicia Janine, also known as Alicia J. Mitchell, and I came to be a songwriter quite by accident. Um, God did it. Uh, it is. I, I blame it on him. Some people say they give, it the, give him the credit. They call it the credit. <laughs> Yeah, so that's, that's my right. way. I blame it on him. <laughs> I give him the honor well, and the glory. Oh. Yes, yes, and um, I, my whole family sang, and I, so I grew up um, singing. But it was, there was a lot of trauma and abuse going on, and I was able mm. to read 
I was reading at three and writing at four, but my voice, my <clears> speaking <throat> voice was not allowed. And so um, wow. a lot of people were talking. They were talking at me, but nobody was talking to me. And it was music mm. that spoke to me. Music spoke to me, okay. and I had no idea I'd be a recording artist and writing songs and authoring books. I had no idea. This is God's doing. It's Amen. God's doing. Amen. Amen. That is wonderful. Amen. You have overcome Amen. some things. You have overcome some things that are probably uh, worthy of the book. And uh, we are going to talk a little bit about your book after we play your music, because I want to say some of all of the tremendous things that God has done in your life. I don't want to just overwhelm my listeners. I want them to take it in a little bit at a time so that they can appreciate what God is doing for you. Now, you talk a little bit about some tragedy, drama possibly going on or maybe neglect going on in previous years. Can you tell us about how God just fully manifested himself into your life? Well, you knew that beyond a shadow of a doubt that it was God moving in your life. Can you recall that time mm-hmm. for us and share it? Yeah, even though we may not be faithful or those who are in, that were entrusted, um, we were entrusted to their care, they may not be faithful, but God is faithful. He's so faithful, and I was just crazy enough to believe that I could have the abundant life that Jesus died to give us. And I said, you know what? All the bad things that happened to me, I now choose to happen for me. It was good that I was afflicted. It was for your benefit and for mine. And so that's how I share my life. Amen. And that is nothing but the miracle transforming work of God. And Mm -hmm. I'm with you, woman of God. There's no other name whereby men must saved, not might be saved, not possibly saved, but must be saved. And I need to let everybody know, just like you about to let us know, woman of God, that there is definitely something about that name. Talking about the one and only Jesus, y'all.
just something about that name, woman of God. We are <laughs> listening to mm-hmm. the anointed sounds and musical ministry of woman of God, Alicia Janine, Alicia J here on this Fire Gospel Experience. Woman of God, mm-hmm. can you share with us before you leave us the inspiration of that song? Because it is so moving and it's so real. Praise the Lord. Yes, Jesus keeps reintroducing himself to us. Just when we think we got a hold on what he is like and what he's going to do, he keeps reintroducing himself. And he's so full. He's so full. (laughs) And I just, I can't get enough. I can't get enough. And I don't want to turn him loose. And I'm so glad he won't turn him loose. (laughs) <laughs> don't, don't let him do it. Don't let him do it. He ain't going to turn uh-uh. you loose. The, the Bible declares, <laughs> he said that I have you in my hand. He said, I have That's you right. all believers in my hands, and I have not lost one of you. And on top of that, mm-hmm. guess what? My father in heaven, who's greater than I, because he was in human form. That's all. They're the same equally. They're both God. They're all God. <laughs> He says, I, he has you in his hand. We double covered. And then Holy yes, Spirit God is yes. left inside us. That's not going to let us get too carried away with ourselves. Amen goes right there. <laughs> Listen, I I'm glad just, about it. Thank you for joining us, woman of God. I want you to know you have an open invitation to come back and feel free to testify, continue to send that anointed music. Uh, I believe that there are going to be so many more wonderful gospel songs that will come to your mind and to your spirit, and you'll be able to share them with us. This fire gospel experience is open for you. And I'm just sending a shout out to Lady Monique over at the Beginning Publishing Company who actually arranged this meeting to happen and this interview. I'm so grateful. I'm looking forward to more kingdom collaboration from you, woman of God, Alicia Janine. Mitchell, as well as from Woman of God, Lady Monique, over there at the beginning, publishing company. Let the work begin and continue. That honors and glorify God, Woman of God. Thank you so much for joining us. Bless you. Thank you. You are a blessing to the body of Christ. We appreciate who you are in Jesus. Woman of God, Alicia Janine was here. She'll be back. Don't worry. I'm <laughs> prophesying that right now. She'll be back. <laughs> Yes. yes, Lord. Thank you, thank you, woman of God. I appreciate all of you anointed people of God that comes to this Fire Gospel Experience platform to share your gifts and talents as well as your testimony about how God has just totally transformed your life. Hey, man, it goes right there. I'm ringing the bell because God will do it. He'll do it every single time. You tuned in to Fire, Fire, your Fire, the Gospel Experience. We are going to continue this free fall of love for Jesus. We are going to just let God have his way. We're going to let God work another miracle because here's man of God, every Drake, saying basically amen to what you just said, woman of God, Alicia Janine. It's something about that name, that name. Talking about Jesus. Yes.
am Dr. Sheila Bunton, a.k.a. Dr. B. I am a public speaker, entrepreneur, author, philanthropist, biblical counselor at Total Restoration Ministries located in Richardson, Texas. And you are listening to FIRE, the gospel experience where the fire is moving, uplifting and unrestrained experience of biblical inspiration and gospel music. I'm inviting you to follow me on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays for one-on-one with Dr. B at 1230 Central Time Facebook Live, as well as purchase a copy of my book, Do You Want to Be Made Whole? A Biblical Guide to Mastering Your Purpose. You can contact me via phone at 972-978-2137. God wants you to do all that you can to bring him glory. And I want that for you as well. There's a familiar song that says, I need you and you need me. You are important to me as well as I am important to you. Until then, keep it tuned in to FIRE, the gospel experience which will uplift your spirit and give you new strength. Be a blessing to your family, to your friends, and to your co-workers. And remember that as a child of God, in accepting his grace, you are part of his community, and we have a responsibility one to another. Again, tune in to the fire on this station. It's all about kingdom building. God bless.
matter what the circumstances, I'm going to trust you, Lord. Yes, Lord, sounds of gospel group solo on this fire gospel experience, letting us know that it's all about putting our trust in the name of the Lord. We know that you didn't have to do it, get God, but thank you, gospel group solo, for letting us know. You didn't have to do it, but we're so glad and we're so thankful that you did. We are embracing for your spiritual consideration from the book of the Gospel of John, the fourth chapter, starting around about at verse 48. We want to just implore your sanctified imagination, if you will. Your sanctified consideration sounds even better for signs and wonders that the Bible talks about. And it's something that we need to talk about today because it is an evident truth that there are signs and wonders, yes. But are we paying too much attention, seeking after signs and wonders like they did in the Bible? Well, I tell you what, let's go to the Word and see what the Word of God has to say. The Word of God tells us, and I'm reading from the King James Version, verse 48, in the book of the Gospel of John, chapter 4, says, Then said Jesus unto him, Except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not receive And I'm going to tell you who he, talking about Jesus said unto him, was. But the Bible blessed me with a scripture that absolutely floored and honored me, which is such a high privilege to know that God said this. Because in John 20 and 29, Jesus said unto him, talking about Thomas, Because you have seen me, do you now believe? Blessed, happy, spiritually secure, and favored by God are they who did not see me and yet believed in me from the Amplified Version of the Bible. Now, I would read my Bible in pure admiration and amazement by the seemingly impossible declarations and claims that were made by our Lord Jesus when he spoke that verse. In John 20, 29, the miracles of healing, resurrection, and the transforming of created things into new and different things literally blew and still to this day blows my mind. It is such an honor to be counted in the number of soul-redeemed people that have heard, believed, and taken in God's holy recorded word. As if we had indeed seen these things happen, as if we were there when they did. But incredible as that is and may sound, I realize that God honors those of us who after many, many, and I mean many centuries later have passed since these recorded Bible events happened, that our Lord Jesus gives us a greater position of honor more so than those who actually bore witness. Wow! Now, that's so satisfying. Deep. D-E-E-P. Deep. And yet, we live in a world that is emphatically overly indulged with imagery being captured by these technological advances, which indeed could be considered as miraculous, at least at some level, however extremely lower, much lower from God's miracle. But what stymies me is that in spite of the fascinating cinematic explosion of three-dimensional images that are so very near to real life, many people find the miracles, signs, and wonders of the Bible unbelievable. Mm. I, I can't help but wonder, why is that so? The Bible says in John 4 and 43, after the two days he went on from there into Galilee, for Jesus himself declared that a prophet has no honor in his own country. So when he arrived in Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him, since they had seen all the things that he did in Jerusalem at the feast. For they too came to the feast. Even our Lord Jesus confirmed that some, if not many, who knew us from our past will obstinately affix us to custom-designed boxes 
of where they think that we should forever belong. Oh, my. What a hard pill to swallow. We want, pray, and expect those who knew us from our past would be the first ones to declare our new authenticity. Speaking about, oh, I remember them when they were such and such and such and such. But no, <laughs> far be it from the truth. God has transformed us from the old man, woman that we once were. And we're still undergoing our new life transitioning. And now we walk in the newness of life. 2 Corinthians five seventeen. I believe this is my brother Reginald Mack. Faith the scripture verse, therefore if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, behold, all things are become new. As we follow an example of our Lord Jesus, who did not linger in the land of those committed in unbelief, he moved on to the fertile grounds of uncertain and thirsty hearts, minds, and souls. We must use discernment when sharing our testimony, energies, and gifts, so as not to waste them on crops that will not yield fruit and a harvest. Matthew 10 to 14 says, And whosoever shall not receive you nor hear your words when you depart out of that house or city shake the dust <laughs> hello <laughs> shake the dust off your feet the issue and the problem is that our Lord Jesus knew exactly what is in the hearts of people we however don't have such a distinctly correct spiritual radar as does God so in many instances, we have to wait and see the evidence of a particular pattern of behavior, lifestyles, and actions that the Bible calls fruit. Matthew 12 and 33 says, either make the tree good and his fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt, for the tree is known by his fruit. You tune in to Fire the Gospel Experience, and we're discussing signs and wonders on this fire gospel experience. Amen. It goes right there. We're going to continue with that spirit that Holy Spirit God has just pointed me to, talking about the name of Jesus with this amazing and anointed songbird, Felicia Joseph, because we're going to understand the need and the importance of being able to, in a timely manner, call your name, God, Lord Jesus.
I'm going to lift up your holy, precious name. Thank you, woman of God. Anointed songbird, Felicia Joseph, right here on this fire, fire, fire gospel experience. We are giving uh, inspirational word, soul inspirations regarding signs and wonders from the Gospel of John at chapter 4, verses 48. And we'll continue on. We left off where we were discussing that the Word of God tells us that the tree is known by the fruit, Matthew 12 and 33. So what we as Christians must ascertain it's how our five central abilities are being manipulated to be exercised at their physiological maximum levels. Where we get thrills and chills over the dramatics, the stunning stunts and breathtaking feats that are done to enthrall and make us and take us on a high and make us high on a rise of adrenaline based enthusiasm. Unfortunately, this is taking place even in our church and religious circles. We're being inundated with a watered-down presentation of the gospel of our Lord Jesus that appeases our performance-based taste. Talking about signs and wonders. Talking about the gospel as it is being presented today and how we need to redefine and take good, thorough looks at how we are preaching, teaching, and living this word of God. Yes, unfortunately, (laughs) it's happening even in our churches. And this is why our Lord Jesus declared, Then said Jesus unto him, Except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. The hymn that I said that I would explain is a nobleman from the city of Capernaum that had a deathly ill son that came to Jesus all the way from Capernaum to Galilee to track him down because he heard about the miraculous signs and wonders that this man has done like no man has ever done, that no man has ever spoken these before. He knew where to go. It is, however, when we get too caught up in the miracles and not the miracle worker, it's a tainted version of what our Lord declares as so. Unfortunately, entertainment has no saving grace or power of redemption, which leaves many souls being lost and all the while thinking that they were saved. Verse 20 says, Wherefore, by their fruits you shall know them. Amen goes right there. The word of God lets us know this is so true. Matthew 7 and 21 says, For not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. You can't talk about it. You can't act like you know about it. We have to be about the application of doing the will of God. Verse 22 says, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? Now, the Bible doesn't actually say that they did those things. It says that they declared and that they said these things. Verse 23 says, And then will I profess unto them. This is the Lord Jesus speaking. I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity, lying people under the guise of being saved. We're living in times now where the incessant requests for more signs and miracles are actually intentionally delayed responses to keep asking with inauthentic intentions to keep from making a heartfelt decision to receive salvation. And this is why Lord Jesus said in Matthew 16 and 4, a wicked an adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there should no sign be given unto it, but the sign of the prophet Jonah. And he left them and departed. And what was the sign given that they asked for? <laughs> they thought they asked for it, but what they got was Jonah 1 and 17. Now the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. What a prophetic sign of our Lord Jesus getting up, resurrected from the dead, from his grave dead. The greatest sign ever given that our Lord Jesus is indeed God in human flesh, that he predicted his own resurrection, as was Jonah back 
to life from the great fish's belly, so too did Jesus, our Lord, come forth out of the belly of the grave. This is more than enough to give every living soul ample enough information to decide or not decide. No other human being born could have ever made such a momentous prophetic declaration and then even greater to accomplish coming back from the dead of his own power given to him by our Father God in heaven. John 10 and 17 bears it out. Jesus, our Lord, says, Therefore doth my Father love me, because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my Father. And true, if not many will ask, but how do you know that all this is true? Well, let me tell you, as our elders would say, I know that he rose because he rose in my soul. And for us believers in Christ, that is sign, miracle, and wonder enough right there, right there. Amen, amen. Talking about signs and wonders right here on this fire gospel experience. Yes, Lord, told y'all y'all was going to get some of the best. So inspiration that Holy Spirit God has given to me to give to you as well as some of the most anointed gospel music that has ever been made and ever been played. And we're not going to take it back. We've got time. We're going to let man of God, Darius Twyman, my homeboy from Detroit, tell me where, God, where you want me to go. Yes. Tell me. <laughs> Listen, it's time to go back and have some old school church. Matter of fact, I wrote this song for my mama. Hey, listen. Tell me where. Tell me where. Tell me where, where. Tell me where, where. Tell me where. Tell me where. Uh, tell me where, where. Tell me where, where. Where will I be when the Lord comes to me? Will I be lying in my grave or standing with Tangerine? Will I be walking down the street looking for someone so to me? I'm wondering. Tell me where, where. Tell me where, where. Tell me 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 where. Oh, crazy now. 
What's going on, family? What's going on? This is Jerry Woods Live Worldwide, a.k.a. the Batman from Charm City, Maryland, and you're listening to Fire, the Gospel Experience with Ron E. Jefferson, right here on Positive Power, Double XI Christian Media.
church body with our Lord Jesus as the head. Amen. Goes right there. Sounds of woman of God, Tanya Dallas Lewis, setting the rhythm of our soul straight with our eyes lifted up to the hills from which cometh our strength. Amen. Goes right there. I want to thank my special guest, man of God, gospel artist, preacher, teacher, pastor, Pastor Tyrone Jefferson, and the amazing and anointed young woman of God in my shine, artist spotlight, Alicia Janine, for coming in and turning up the heat on this fire, fire, fire gospel experience. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to leave you all with one final word, if I may, because I'm concerned, I care about all the beautiful things that you all are doing on this life journey that we are all passing through. Don't you dare let the pain from your past disturb and ruin your present and your future. Let God do you. Let God do the spiritual surgery that only he can do so that you do like I've done and understand that the past was just a process and a purpose to bring us to our power. Romans 8.28 says, and we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God, to them that are called according to your purpose. So if you don't know, I'm letting you know that you are called. You have a purpose and that God loves you. I want to celebrate Woman of God, Natalie Tejis, who syndicates this fire gospel experience over there at the new National Gospel Songwriters Conference, celebrating their fifth year. And she has upgraded that platform. It was the Gospel Songwriters Conference Radio, GSWC, but now it's the National Gospel Songwriters Conference. Now, I'm going to get details and confirm this fire gospel experience radio. Congratulations, woman of God. Congratulations, congratulations. I want you to go to the network. Just type in the National Songwriters Conference. Just Google that bad boy. The link will pop up, and you can get not just fire the gospel experience. Now, I know previously I was being broadcast Tuesday mornings at 11 a.m. I need to confirm that if that's true, but even if that may not be accurate at this point in time, if you go to the National Gospel Songwriters Conference, just go to that link. You'll see, I'm sure, a menu of not only myself, Fire the Gospel Experience. You will also see many other gospel radio personalities and hosts there, as well as preachers and teachers, so that your spiritual soul can be properly fed and nurtured by the National Gospel Songwriters Conference. Congratulations, woman of God, Natalie and Peaches, on your five-year anniversary. We bless you. I thank God for this kingdom collaboration that we have, and I pray that it will continue on until Jesus comes back. How you like that? So until next time, y'all be blessed. You all are wonderful in the sight of God. Keep living for God, y'all. Keep allowing God to filter in more of him and less of you. John the Baptist said it best when he said, I must decrease that he, talking about God Almighty, Jesus Christ, our Savior, comfort the Holy Spirit God might increase in us. So until next time, y'all be blessed. Happy to celebrate five years of this fire gospel experience. Me and woman of God, Natalie Peaches, is running neck and neck, both celebrating five-year anniversary on this gospel assignment that we have in God. Amen. Amen. Just blessed by God, and I want you all to know that you are blessed too. So continue to live for Jesus. So until next time, you all be blessed. You are the anointed people of God. If you don't know, I'm here to tell you so. So until next time, let God use you. Let the love of Jesus overwhelm your life and spill over into the lives of others. Amen. It goes right there. Had to ring the bell. Y'all be blessed in the name of our Savior, our Lord, Jesus the Christ. He is so, so worthy of our praise. 
Amen. Go right there. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yeah. 